Well, I'm going to try and experiment. <laughs> we'll see how this works. Uh, I have this different camera set up. Hold on with me. Bear with me for just a moment while I try to get you set up here. All right. Well, get her off kilter a little bit. Okay, so <laughs> I drew this right the other day, <laughs> and I've decided that I want to want to paint it in with thread. I, I decided to do it with orange because I have a lot of orange thread. It may look totally ugly, but I have a lot of orange thread, so it's fine if it looks totally ugly. thread my needle. I'm gonna just my tray of bobbins. The white ones are bobbin fill for embroidery and the thread is really fine. So I'm gonna pick bobbin fill. It will last a long time. Bobbin cover. It's telling me to check my presser foot because I just cleaned out the machine. I've got my regular uh, zigzag plate on. This is my uh, this is I, my sew adjust table. So this is a table I bought ages ago. I don't even know if they sell them anymore. God bless that family if they do, because um, you can use it and adjust it for most tables. I think the sew study is making one that's similar now. It really, though, only works with tables with sewing machines that are square. So I'm, on my Viking machine, this doesn't work, and I had to actually buy the Viking table. But on this machine, it works really well. And then, of course, you can take off the screws and adjust it all kinds of ways. And then it works really well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, I'm going to make these stitches and I don't use this machine a lot for, for sewing. I mostly use it for, for quilting. Um, so I'm going to decorative quilt. I think I have to go to applique. So go back over here. See how long it's been since I used this that I don't remember all the things. Applique. That's what I want. I want this one zigzag. I want to make sure and check up here that it's quite small. So. is my width. I actually want to adjust the width a bit more. This is your satin. Right, so if you make it zero, it's going to be terrible. So probably the 0.35 is just fine. I mean, if I don't like it, what you can do is you can just go over it again. I'm going to get actually a little keep these little scraps around all the time. I should probably plug in my foot though. I mean, I don't have to. I can just use my stop start button. Oh yeah, that'll be fine. I think that's good. A long enough tail. Oh, it's warm in this room and it's late at night, so forgive me. I'm gonna line it up. This is the edge of the zig. So it's going right there.
I can, you know, look at that. I can see what I need to to reduce the tension. So, because I'm probably because I'm using bobbin fill, and I probably should change the bobbin, but uh, let's see what happens if I do that. So that's what I'm going to start to do. And once I have started filling in these areas with kind of just satin stitches, then I'm going to start to try to do some free motion embroidery. We'll see what happens. 